was around the 27th of January 2020 and I remember texting one of my colleagues from the clinical informatics team and I said, look, it seems like, you know, this pandemic may affect us all. So I said, okay, we need to create a virtual intensive care unit where I can see all the patients from one single spot. Part of it was the uncertainty. We really had no concept of the numbers of patients who would appear with these symptoms, the severity of those symptoms, the impact on our own staff. One patient in an ICU, we'd expect to generate somewhere around 20 to 30,000 uh, points of data per day. It's an enormous amount of data to churn through. SignCov is an algorithm that allows you to immediately get back a risk scoring of how likely that patient is to end up in the ICU on a ventilator and their overall projected mortality. The algorithm we've designed with Chelsea and Westminster is called SignCov. It was created specifically to look at three critical parts on the COVID pathway. What we are trying to achieve at that point was to prevent progression of disease. Because if you get patients earlier, you intervene early, you improve outcomes. Simply like that. What these machine learning algorithms can do is to take vast quantities of data and give it back to the clinician as quickly as possible, because that could be a difference between life and death. The variables that we look at are variables like the respiratory rate, heart rate, blood pressure. Perhaps we got around 120 variables and then it started coming down gradually. Marcella had a lot of clinical observation, input theories. I was able to work with the data in real time and since I obviously have uh, some very smart data science people on their side who were able to attack the problems from a different angle. We were looking at making this as near real time as possible. So our current turnaround time is uh, 15 to 16 seconds, uh, and that's for a thousand patients. The key here was, I know your risk of dying, your risk of needed intensive care, or your risk of needed mechanical ventilation. That issue of pace and speed is really, really important. And since I bring a level of expertise, that supports the clinical know-how that we bring. And so that kind of balance of skills, that balance of relationships is really important for us. We could not have done it without the tools that we had available within Microsoft. The Azure tool set and the uh, artificial intelligence tools were critical in delivering the SignCov algorithm. I don't think that artificial intelligence or algorithms will change the way that we practice medicine. What it does enhances it. The vision for Chelsea and Westminster as a trust is to be able to see the creativity and innovation which I think the first wave of, of COVID really unlocked. The onus was on people to find a very new way of working. So our charging model to Chelsea and Westminster was, um, was zero. We did it as a common, passionate, purpose-driven project. To work with people like Marcella and Alex and the rest of the team was a privilege. I think it's one of the best decisions that we have made as a digital trust. We are setting the pathway for other trust and other hospitals to follow us, not only locally, but nationally and worldwide. This is the beginning of a fantastic journey together.